Thank you for clicking play. This is PK of the PK Comic Book 411. And I'm going to be talking about DC. The last two, I was talking about Marvel and then other publishers IDW, Boom, Image, Valiant. Valiant. Loving that first run of the shelf. All right, so listen, I'm going to do a top down approach, okay? I've done it a couple times in the past when I had a lot of things to go over. Top down approach coming at you now. Don't you love how we always show our beds? We got Rebirth all right here. People are really liking the Green Arrow Rebirth by Percy. To me, I'm not a Green Arrow fan, but it's a very well done comic. Over here, we have Humphreys. Not exactly a fan of Humphreys. Uh, I believe it was Black Vortex and Convergence, but I was really excited with this Rebirth that they're sharing the same battery Hal is away, so hey, you're gonna be trained by the Justice League. This doesn't do it for the rookie cops. Sort of disappointed in the number one. Flash here, as well as Titans, is really related to this one shot, 299, best 299 I've ever spent. Rebirth is a success. Now we have Action Comics, which is basically the team up of Superman and his uh, son, with Lois from Lois and Clark. And then we have the team up of Batman with the detectives. Now, this is Tom King writing his first soup, if you will. Um, and Batman Rebirth, they're kicking a tree. My master of Kung Fu said never kick the, you know, don't ask permission from the tree before you start kicking trees. This is wonderful because it shows how badass he is through a failure. Now, on a group, someone said it wasn't a failure. It was going to save everyone. Well, yeah, bad angle and you're going to die. That's a failure. We're going to see where Tom King is going to bring this. Tom King has just finished Omega Men. And there should be a 12 right there. There should be a 12. Need to find that 12. Uh-oh. He also writes Sheriff of Babylon for Image and that, excuse me, Vertigo. And that will be uh, in trade coming out, I believe, on Wednesday. He also wrote, this is still all Tom King. He also wrote the beginning and the end of Robin War, just so you know. And then let's go up to Abnet. Abnet actually finished Aquaman the actual series of Aquaman, and that is right here. He came in, I believe it was four issues back. Yeah, so he had 49, 50, 51, 52 as his sort of introduction, uh, his testing into DC. Then from there, he's doing the Aqu Aquaman Rebirth. Nothing special happened here, it just sort of set the scene. And he's also doing Titans, um, which again, goes into the DC Rebirth. There will also be a Titans, Teen Titans as well, just so you know, two titles there. And he also writes, again, we're still on Abnet, Earth 2 Society. And I think it was about two issues back he came on. And just so you know, right there, that's Pandora, Pandora's box. Something really crazy is gonna happen here, which is interesting because in DC Rebirth, Pandora is vaporized. Interesting. Superman's, uh, maybe? This is sort of the family title that deals with John. Sort of liking that. Um, then we have Superman American Alien. I am triple dipping. I'm going to the hardcover on this. It's one through seven, <clears throat> each one with a different artist, with all written by Max Landis. And it is fabulous. I highly suggest that one. Now we have Justice League over here uh, in the Dark Side War. These are the one shots. The reason why I have this one shot is this, this is in the Tom King, who was a CIA operative, by the way. Um, and this as a standalone. If you're going to get any of these one shots, obviously there's one for Flash, Shazam, Superman, Batman. Lex Luthor, who's in uh, Apocalypse, and then Green Lantern, standalone, really awesome, another Tom King one. So Tom King for this one shot, then Omega Man and Batman, and uh, Sheriff of Babylon as well. Uh, he also writes The Vision for Marvel. Um, we have Justice League that ended the Dark Side War, part 10, 
And now we have 51 that was last week, 52 will be next week. And these are at this particular one, also by Abnet, okay? So then you have Abnet here, Abnet here, Abnet here, Abnet here, Abnet here. You know what I'm saying? Abnet and King taking over DC because Jeff Johns has moved on to do all of the cin cinematic. Um, I really, this came out last week. And this is in the Frank Miller Dark Knight Returns. That was really good. I believe it's a standalone. And it goes within this DK3. And we're up to book four on that. JLA, uh, Brian Hitch's JLA, I was told was canceled at eight. And I saw something in previews going all, all the way up to 12. So I believe this is still going to keep on going. Unfortunately, I trade waited on Batman Superman. And as you can see in these little guys up here, I started to trade wait because it's four different titles because of that i really don't know what's going on and things that are over here in the superman rebirth unfortunately um i have a couple of these left over and then i on um, green lantern 40 i ended up hearing that renegade was so good and that's robert venditti who to me is a valiant guy uh he's, he's been writing for valiant for a very long time and he went over to dc to write uh, dc uh green lantern um, moving back, we have the Batman Beyond. That has taken a quite a crazy turn. Dan Jurgens now doing that. And there's a lot of yesteryear and forward year. This is part two of four. And I, I guess it's going to come out and maybe do a rebirth. I don't know. Uh, Deathstroke, Tony S. Daniels is off of it. Uh, Bonnie is on. And, and I still do some splash pages and, and homage to Tony S. Daniels. But... It's still not the same. I'm still keeping with it because it's on my pull list. Poison Ivy, one of six. This is the entirety. Just came out uh, last week, I believe. This is great. She's not really the villain, villain and I really do uh, love the art in that. Um, will I get the trade? Probably not. Not double dipping on that, but that's going to be in a special place so that I can reread it. DC is doing some wacky stuff with the Hanna-Barbera, and it took me a while to remember that, hey, wait a minute, I know what this is. This is sort of a Mad Max take on the cartoon I used to watch. How funny is that? By the way, this is the artist team of Asylum, which used to be wonderful. Manko and the colorist had changed from the beginning of Asylum. Unfortunate. Starfire has ended at 12. Amanda Connor did a wonderful job. Uh, in fact, I'm sort of gonna change that over to Marvel. That, that type of feel is almost like Mockingbird over at Marvel. Um, just a couple of other ones that were strayed. And this is when he was depowered, stood in front of a gun, didn't have his powers, wrapped his cape around his knuckles because that's all he had left. Uh, even the Fortress of Solitude didn't recognize him, etc. So there you have it. That's a quick little overview of DC. Oh, and by the way, the last one I wanted to talk about of Rebirth is Wonder Woman. People are asking, is Rebirth a reboot? No, it's sort of a way of explaining how New 52 came about. Greg Rucka did a very, very bold move. And we love Greg Rucka from Lazarus. So he's very good at powerful female characters. Greg Rucka actually took all of the different, except for, hold on, except for Earth One, Grant Morrison's, where Hercules is his dad. He took the different origin stories and had her trying to figure out going back and forth. So out of all these rebirths, it was Rucka that really took it to head and say, okay, I got two storylines. How am I going to put them together? Lastly, and definitely not least, is the 20th anniversary of Kingdom Come. And I hate to end on that because I don't truly appreciate it. There's so many people in there that I don't know these people and I don't appreciate them as much. You know what I mean? So, I mean, the, the painting, I shouldn't even say the artist, but Alex Ross is top notch. You can't say anything bad about the art in there. And its power corrupts absolutely. I just don't know all the players, so it meant less to me because I started reading three years ago. All right, that's the top down of PK411. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Come back next Tuesday for another issue. See ya.